It took several hours and a massive crane, but crews were finally able to remove a semi truck that was lodged in between bridges on the Indiana toll road. Yeah, but traffic is still being impacted at this hour. Let's go straight to Casey Cronus, who is live for us with the very latest here. Casey. Anthony and Corey, it has been 14 hours since that fiery crash, and westbound lanes of I-90 are still shut down between Klein and Calumet Avenues. Take a look at these shocking images. Overnight, Indiana State Police say that a UPS tractor pulling an empty trailer was heading westbound when it in the left lane when it hit the median. It was sent over the edge and burst into flames. The trailer became wedged in the gap that separates the elevated east and westbound lanes. Meanwhile, the cab fell into the Calumet River. Officials say the driver, a 32-year-old man from Lansing, Illinois, managed to escape from the tractor and survived. Emergency crews actually found him clinging to a bridge support pillar and say he was suffering from hypothermia. He was taken to the hospital for treatment. Meanwhile, using a crane, crews were able to lift the semi from that gap and remove the cab from the river. Still, it's unclear how this all unfolded. I've got the same question. Uh, right now, uh, that's information I don't have, and it's part of what uh, our crash investigators are going to be talking to the driver to determine exactly what happened uh, early this morning and how uh, he wound up uh, in between the road there in the Calumet River. Now, do you... And there were no other vehicles involved in this in this crash, thankfully. And when the westbound lanes do reopen, officials say traffic will be reduced to just one lane while engineers examine all of that damage to the bridge.